overindulge on wine? Maybe you plan on having a few or two on St. Patrick's Day this weekend. To celebrate? <laughs> well, there are patches that promise to prevent the throbbing headache and upset stomach of a hangover. Well, it also caused us to wonder, do these things work? Dr. Diane McAllister is Chief Medical Officer at Centura's Porter Adventist Hospital. And we're glad to have you here, Diane. Thanks. Dr. Diane joins us every Wednesday. And you looked at one type of patch. There are several of them out there. You looked at one type. What are the ingredients that are absorbed into the skin from these patches? So the website describes the ingredients, and it's basically a multivitamin with a lot of good vitamins. It has a lot of um, B12, and then it has 100 times the daily recommended dose of thiamine, which is another B vitamin. Okay, so what's the theory really behind the claims? So the theory for this comes from the fact that um, we use something called a yellow bag of vitamins in people who are chronic alcoholics because we know they get low on folic acid and vitamin B12 from malnutrition because they're drinking instead of eating. And we use that to help get them better. So the theory was that a little bit could help you um, prevent a hangover, possibly. Uh, it seems to make sense. Is there any science to support this? Well, you know, I went on the manufacturer's website, and they don't have any science there, did a literature search, and um, there's really no medical science that would say that vitamin B12 in these doses would prevent a hangover, nor would thiamine. Um, the other thing is that, especially in the patch, the, it's released very slowly, so the experts have doubts that you could even absorb enough to do anything, even uh -huh. if it were helpful. Okay, so we're talking about the patch or in the form of the pill. Could it work? Well, you know, there is one way that it could work. There's very good medical science that shows the, something called the placebo effect. And we can give people sugar pills, and if they believe that they're going to help them, they do help them. So there is one way it could help. It's the placebo effect. So let's talk about prevention. Is there a way to prevent a hangover? Because there are lots of people who plan to head out and celebrate St. Patrick's Day, who, you know, you can celebrate anything. Can you prevent the hangover? Well, there is one known way to prevent a hangover, and that's not to drink. Um, but there are the theories around hangovers have a lot to do with your nerves and your body getting irritated from dehydration. So it could be that drinking a lot of water during the evening will help prevent or lessen a hangover. But that's about it. Any other warnings that we should know of or anything else that you want to add before a big weekend coming up, obviously? Well, you know, with St. Patrick's Day coming up, I would like to remind people that moderation is always best mm -hmm. in anything. And do not drink and drive. Use a designated driver if you're going to be celebrating. And secondly, if you have a friend that's very much indulged, alcohol poisoning is a life-threatening illness. So if they're vomiting or they pass out, they need immediate medical attention because they can get brain damage or even die. And that's totally preventable. And nothing puts a damper on a party and a celebration than a terrible incident like that. Exactly. All right. Thank you, Dr. Diane. If you have a topic you'd like to see discussed here, email 11am at the Denver